Henry, you fool! Get out of the road! Ah! Whoa, that was really close. You almost got flattened. I did? You need to pay more attention to these Hexbug Tagamoto tracks. Tagamoto? Hexbug Tagamoto tracks. You know, tracks with codes on them that the cars react to. There's all sorts of hazards on these roads. Well, that's really interesting. I'm going to need to know more. That's right, Squirrels. The new Hexbug Tagamoto tracks are pretty interesting. They're customizable roadway playsets in which the cars react to stickers with codes on the tracks. All sorts of stuff can happen to the cars on the tracks. Lights can go on and off. There's music, there's sounds, there's speed bumps, there's stops, there's starts, there's engine fails. Just a crazy amount of customization. There's lots of vehicles to choose from, each with their own custom body kit. Each car has speakers, lights, and a motor. The motor is really similar to the nano bugs with a couple legs up front that vibrate and move the wheels. There's a scanner on the bottom of the car here that when the car drives over a code on the track, tells the car what to do. The on and off switch is also on the bottom, a nice orange hex shape. That is nice to know. The cars have three modes of play. One mode is they drive around the tracks responding to the codes. The other way is just letting it drive on a tabletop. And the third way is to extend the wheels on the bottom of the car. And now you can just free play with your car. It sure is. It's a good value. It comes with over 35 pieces of track and accessory. The road pieces fit together in classic hexbug form. Just piece them together easily. Then, once you get your roadway in place, start placing your removable code stickers on the track. Remember, these will tell your car what to do, so plan your sticker placing accordingly. Let's test out a really simple oval design. Notice how the car's lights will turn on here and turn off here. Now let's try the other way. Notice how the car's engine will fail here, a beatbox will turn on, and the car will slow to 35 miles an hour. Ha ha! There are also stickers for the curves, but I've found that they haven't worked as well as the stickers on the straightaways. Let's try the radio one. You'll notice that placing stickers too close together will interrupt what the car does, so sometimes it's nice to place them a little more farther apart. Now we can hear that song a little more. Well, the house is a toll booth in which you can turn this uh, little top up for up and down on the uh, gate. This way the car should stop at the gate. And then we can set it on its way. Like the Hexbug environments, the Tagamoto track is very entertaining to watch.
Laundry, you're in the road again. Ouch! Ah! Oh, Landry, you'll never learn. The squirrel's name is Landry. Stampede budget can only go so far. Oh. 